In this example, within 5 minutes we will automate an actual distribution feeder based on this sketch received from operations. We will start by running the phase software, create a new project and providing a name and number for this feeder system. Select the desired application. Under the topology tab we start by dragging and dropping the desired primary gear into our drawing from the system as depicted in the sketch. Insert the primary gear, it could be reclosers, load brake switches or circuit breakers and interconnect per the sketch. Once we completed the drawing, select validate and complete the topology. Phase will assign a name and a number to each device and line section. The next step in the procedure is to select the NOP or Normal Operating Position tab. Click on Add NOP to add the first normal operating position for the primary gear. Double click on the primary gear symbols to change the status. The color will change to green for an open switch. After operation the system will always restore back to this state. The next step in the process is to go to the Properties tab. Here we now apply the device settings in a table format. Because we are dealing with devices communicating to each other, we need to give each device an IP address. Phase will automatically assign a unique address for each device. Just enter the starting value and drag across the table. If protection functionality is used, all settings can also be applied in this tab. Much like Excel, you can drag and copy settings from one device to another. It cannot get any easier to enter and compare settings in all devices on one single screen. The next step is to go to the Sequence tab to program the fly sort of automation sequences. Phase automatically provide a list of sequences for each line section on the left. For this sequence, we selected a fault on line section A. On the right, phase will depict a normal step followed by a trigger step below it. We now add a step. We want to isolate line section A. Change the status of the switch by double clicking on the symbol to indicate the desired operation for the step. Keep on adding steps to complete the isolation and service restoration steps. We have now isolated the faulted line section and restored power to the unaffected line sections. Click on complete and select the next sequence. This process can take quite a bit of time, but you can get phase to automatically generate the sequences. Click on the sequence subfolder and click on generate sequences with open or closed restoration sequences. All sequences for this subfolder are generated in seconds. You can just check the sequences to see if you approve, modify, add or remove any sequence if required. The next step now is to generate the device files. This may take a few minutes. All device logic and interconnections are automatically programmed in the step by phase. The last step is to download the files into the field devices. Put the system in simulation mode, test all the operation sequences without operating the primary gear. Check feedback to SCADA. The system is then ready for final commissioning. Bypass all switches, operate them, remove the bypasses, set the system to operate automatically. Phase making field automation fast and easy to deploy.